cost transfers, we all know that the big red flag is waived when there is a cost transfer. But we also all know that cost transfers are a reality, that we do have to utilize cost transfer. So why is it such a big deal? Well, it's a big deal when there's a cost transfer because an auditor says they didn't do something right here. What else didn't they do right? And how many times have they not done this right? And they start questioning. So to avoid that line of thinking when an auditor is looking at your books, we want to make sure that we have justification in place that tells the story, the whole story, nothing but the story, <laughs> to keep that auditor on track from questioning further. So it is so important when you are justifying cost transfers to keep in mind these questions that are on the slide. Why did it happen? This is not a time to use copy and paste, to use prepared language. This is the time to tell the story specific to this situation. And then it becomes even more important when it goes beyond 90 days. If there's a cost transfer beyond 90 days, we need to know more than just why it happened. And we also need to know why is it happening beyond 90 days and what corrective action has taken place to eliminate the need for a cost transfer in the future. The auditor must be able to understand the why it happened and why it is not expected to happen again. Mm -hmm.